So, some time ago, I uh, I watched this uh, TV show, and Darren Brown was doing this one of these uh, d d trick or dare things where people signed up for him to have an impact. You know, they were willing to have an experience. And um, he took this one girl to a cafe, and he said to her, "You know, for the next two weeks, we're going to um, uh, pay actors to interact with you to teach you lessons." And um, all we want you to do is just keep a video journal of what we're teaching you and your experiences. And to prove the point, he said, now look over there and there is some guy some distance away. Um, and he said, you might want to pull your feet in, they might get wet. And then the guy over there stood up, he had a paper or something, and the guy on a bike did something. And there was this chain of event with various people that involved, I think, then a waitress spinning around and water like spilling just where her feet had been. It completely freaked her out. It made uh, Darren Brown look completely psychic. Uh, but then he explained, of course, it was just these interactive actors. And he said, so just like that, we're gonna have lots of people interacting with you two, for the next two weeks to um, help you learn stuff. Um, and so she took the video and she, she documented her experience. And she learned lots of lessons, you know, and she, she had her suspicions about who was paid and so on. and. Um, you know, but what's interesting was Darren Brown was doing this to prove that uh, people who have a religion or people who believe in God um, interpret reality constantly as though they're in relationship with a divine being uh, because she had lots of learnings, thought she was being given lots of messages and there were no actors. He hadn't paid for anyone. The only thing they did was that initial setup and he did this to prove, you know, it's all imaginary. But for me, what's really interesting is well, what did she learn? And she decided, I can't remember all the details, but it was like to spend more time with her loved ones, to make her work more fulfilling, to be kind to with herself, to have greater life balance. I think she started doing more yoga. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Now, whilst she was interpreting her experience and it was totally arbitrary, nothing was organized. It was all imaginary. What I think is interesting is if you did that experiment with a thousand people, you'd get similar results. And you say, well, everyone's then delusional. But for me, it's like, but what is it in us that is moving us towards more beautiful ways of being? What cares about us spending more time with our loved ones? What cares about us looking after ourselves? Whether that's a higher self, whether that's an un the unconscious or the heart or, or, or a way in which people would refer to that as spiritually. For me, it doesn't really matter. What it is, is there is... A for me, the unconscious is constantly trying to communicate to with us. It is getting us to interpret reality to remember who we are. Now, we might not be paying attention to the lessons, but for me, I am paying attention to the lessons. I know my unconscious is, is better and wiser than I am, and it wants to help. So we have to, I believe, have a practice of, of transcending our personality and our limiting beliefs and connecting to this incredible intelligence. And whether you think it's running the rest of the world or it's part of a collective consciousness or it's the God force or the God mind or it's all terminology. For me, there is a higher intelligence at, at play within our conscious reality and it is the deeper levels of our consciousness. Whether that's connected to all consciousness or consciousnesses or that is a singular consciousness, isn't that relevant? What is exciting is what that means about what's possible if we're paying attention.